inserting smart art graphics in PowerPoint. Now, once again, you will have your existing PowerPoint presentation. Uh, where do I go to insert a smart art? Insert. There's all your different insert options, your shapes, your chart. There is smart art. As soon as I click on smart art, I've got different options of different types of smart art I can put in. Read your instruction and see which of those ones they want you to put in. You will see that all is selected. So if you go on the list here on the, on the right hand side, all the different smart arts are selected. If they talk about a specific one and they say a cycle, you can just click on cycle. It makes your choices on this side so much smaller and you can quickly see which one you want. Or if they say a list, you can click on list and there's your, all your options for the different list smart arts or pyramid or whichever they give you. So for this exercise, let's put in a cycle and you will see each one has got a different name. Basic cycle, text cycle, block cycle, uh, hexagon radial, circle arrow process. So make sure in your instruction which one you have to insert and which one is the correct one. So for this exercise, let's put in a basic cycle. You click on the one you, you, you choose and then you click on OK. And now your smart art is inserted. Once again, on top, you have smart art tools. Your design and your format. If you need to make changes to your smart art, make sure it's selected. You've got your smart art tools. Again, the same as the chart. You can change the color. You can change the style of the smart art. 3D, uh, different 3D, cartoon, uh, brick scene. You can, if, if the chart or the, the smart art is there ready, you select it, you can go and change the layout. You, ch you chose the wrong layout, you can go back to change layout. You can choose another layout from your list and change the layout of that smart art. If I need to type in my smart art graphic, I can just double click or click where I have to type and you can type in as normal. I'm just going to list the MS Office programs just for this exercise. You will see as you, you type, the, the text adjusts itself to the size of the block. You don't have to worry about adjusting your size of your block. There, I've inserted my smart art. I've typed the information in there. You can change the color, you can change the style. You can change the layout of your smart art. Under format, once again, you've got shape fill. You can change the background of your smart art, shape outline, depending on what your instruction is, you can put that in shape effects, 3D, whatever your instruction gives you, you can make the changes to that smart art. So how do I insert a smart art? Insert smart art and I choose the correct layout or the correct which one I have to put in I click on it and I click on OK. If I need to add or delete a shape, the, the shape that will insert has got a default amount of shapes that is there. If I need to delete or add a shape, under design, you will see there's add shape. You can click on the arrow. Where do you want the shape? 
before or after if I say after the next shape will appear if I click on that one and I say before the shape will appear before that one if there's too many shapes I can just select a shape and I can press on delete on my keyboard select the shape I want to delete press delete on my keyboard so I can add shapes and delete shapes to my smart art so that it fits the instruction that I was given. I can change the styles of my smart art. I can change the color of my smart art to whatever color I want. I can change the background, the shape full of each block or the background. Insert smart art and choose the correct one. Remember, each one has got a name. If you hold your mouse on each little picture, you will see that each one has got a name. Make sure of your instruction of which one you have to insert. Now, I might get the instruction where the list of uh, Microsoft Office 2010 is already typed. I have to convert those names into a smart art graphic. They don't want it just as a list, they want it as a smart art graphic. So what do I do before I change anything? I highlight. So I highlight the list that I have to work with. Under my home ribbon, you will see it says on top of my paragraph block, it says convert to smart art. I click on the arrow, I go to more smart art graphics, and then I choose which one they tell me to use, whether it's pyramid, whether it's process, whether it's hierarchy. You choose the correct one they want you to use. Inverted pyramid for this exercise. If we click on OK, my list, my normal type list, I've converted to a smart art graphic. Once again, there's all my smart art styles. There's my color. I can change it to a 3D, I can change it to base match, whichever instruction is given to me, I can change it. So if I need to insert smart art, I go to insert, smart art, I insert the correct one, click on OK, I type in my information in my smart art, I can go to design and change the style and the color, I can add a shape. I can delete a shape. If I need to convert a list of words into smart art, I highlight that list. I highlight that list. I go to home on my toolbar in the paragraph block, convert to smart art. I go to more smart art graphics. I choose the correct one that is given to me and I say, okay. Once again, all my styles, my colors, add shape or delete shape will be available.